Steam box that I personally built. Because I didn't want to fuck up the other computer. But this is the other computer that I guess I can, you can call it my test bench. But here's Steam OS. On a, just remember that on a salsa drive it'd be a lot faster. It'd be just a few, four or five seconds. This is on a regular old generation hard drive, so it's a little bit slow. There you go. That's SteamOS, and it boots up like that. And when you log in, it's just like the Steam uh, overlay. Um, here, I'll log in just real quick. So, it's like, we can play that, we'll, we'll even try to install this game here, so, I don't know how long this can take, but probably the next video will be just playing, me playing this. Community, blah blah blah. Now let's get out of here. Now other than this, we can always go back to the, um, let's go to the desktop now. Now this is the Steam OS desktop. And I guess this is going to, it should be geared to replace Windows. So right now it's not really supported with anything, but it's just like, um, you know how Linux is, so you can just go and you choose what whatever you want to use. The um, web browser it comes with is called Ice Weasel. I've never used it before, but it's not bad. You can go on Facebook. You can I haven't tried YouTube yet, but everything else works. Let's try YouTube. Let's see if YouTube works. So it's not bad. All right, yeah, YouTube works. So, this thing works, and on top you'll see it's called Steam OS Desktop. Alright. And then if you want to go back, all you have to do is just click this, return to Steam. And you're right back into the, into the interface. And there, there's that little thing downloading. So, done with that. And that's SteamOS for you.